I'm Roberta Dunn, and I'm with um, several organizations that support and work for um, LGBT equality. And one of them is HRC, the Human Rights Campaign. The other is uh, Mecklenburg Political Action Committee, also known as METPAC. And I'm also b belong and help run several transgender organizations in the Charlotte area. We're excited to be honoring Roberta Dunn um, for her really incredible work in the Charlotte community, um, bringing together uh, transgender people, gay and lesbian people, and allies, uh, working particularly to improve relations with the Charlotte Police Department. It takes a lot of courage, people say, to step forth and come out and do this. So, um, But it, to me, it's as natural as breathing and talking and just being myself. What Roberta's done is she's brought together um, people across differences to find ways to find solutions to issues. And I think it's really exciting, too, that she's looked beyond just getting sort of concrete policy victories passed, but how she can actually change the culture of some of the institutions that our community has to interact with every day. I never dreamed that I would be an advocate or a, an activist or a social activist. It wasn't on my radar screen to do that. But when I learned the, the problems that we have of being able to go out into society and just being yourself, just you know, wanting to go shopping, wanting to go into a restaurant, wanting to use a restroom. In 39 states, that's a, a, you can be arrested as a sex offender for that. And I have to get that changed. <laughs>
uh, to be very important for our children's generation. Yeah. Uh, with the the hope that um, that they will be able to love whomever they choose to love. I'm Aaron Lucier. I, um, my day job at East Carolina University, you might say, is I'm the director of housing operations here at ECU. And my, me and my partner have been here for, um, you know, to get, we've been together for um, 13 plus years, and I've been in Greenville for 15 years. So that, that's, it's been a level of consistency for myself, but also for that community. For as long as I've been at Equality North Carolina, Aaron Lucier has been our go to guy in Greenville. Um, he's done such an amazing job of supporting the uh, student group at East Carolina University as their advisor, uh, being involved with all kinds of community organizing, both on LGBT issues and on HIV AIDS issues. Um, he's just always somebody who's, who's there, involved in the community, and has been such a great supporter for Equality North Carolina in the eastern part of the state. Sometimes we don't recognize that um, most people or happen to be gay, lesbian, or bisexual, or transgender, aren't living in a major urban area. They're out here in, in a smaller town, or they're out here, um, even in maybe not even a town itself, they're out, truly out in the country. And they need um, a community, they need a connection. It's so important to us that we have people like Aaron and all of the people in the community that he's working with who are standing up and who are really making a difference in places outside the, the major urban areas of the state because we know that those are the places where we most need to change hearts and minds. We've had students that have come out and they're like, oh, I came out when I was 12 to my parents and I'm like, wow, you know, that wasn't my experience and I'm proud of that. I mean, it's amazing. Um, you have students coming here that are already activists and have done um, more work in terms of issues than I hope to do. Um, so, you know, they inspire me um, to keep working on these issues. My name is Joshua Lee Weaver, and I am a gay rights activist. I was so excited and impressed by the work that Joshua did in Durham to get the city council, not just to pass a resolution supporting marriage equality, which is a huge statement in the South, but to get the council to support it unanimously. Um, I mean, it was not that long ago that we had very contentious, nasty meetings in that same council chamber over uh, whether to approve domestic partner health benefits for city employees. Um, so to see the change that's happened and to see Josh's work to get the full council on board in the face of right-wing opposition was really impressive. You know, you can't tell me what I can and cannot do. I'm my own person. If I want to get married, I want to get married. And I want to have the American dream just like everyone else does. I want to have kids and, you know, pets and stuff like that. The only difference is I don't want to be married to a woman. I want to be married to a man. That's it. Josh is one of the amazing young activists who I think was inspired by the uh, loss of Prop 8 in California. And to see that energy that was so pent up after that decision uh, being used and really put to good work on the ground in local communities like Durham uh, is really inspiring and exciting and I think it's a model for other communities in the state. What I'm working on right now is other cities besides Durham. Um, since Durham I felt like it was kind of like the gateway and you know how many more cities can we do that in North Carolina and um, I'm hoping to you know just travel around as much as I can to get every every city or town government in North Carolina to pass the same resolution. And my ultimate goal is to have North Carolina to be the next state to um, approve same-sex marriage. I think that would be incredible and I would probably go crazy if that happened. <laughs>